Part 13. Insurance Price Good news is pleasant for us as it allows us to relax. Bad news is important to us as the task to avoid losses is more significant for the body. Authorities often eliminate criticism and boast about nonsense. Similarly to electronics, it can be noted that the system functioning is disrupted when the regenerative feedback exceeds the reverse feedback. Positive information about the events is the regenerative feedback in the authority's amplifier circuit. Negative information about the event is a reverse feedback in the authority's amplifier circuit. The amplifier turns into a lock circuit, which is switched over by negative phenomena of much greater amplitude by the revolution, for instance. Our world is nuts about risk insurance. From the point of view of the business scheme, insurance companies and casinos are one and the same thing. The insurer offers the client to bet on the fact they will get into trouble. The casino or the insurance company motivates their clients in different ways. In the first case, they thrill clients. In the second one, fear motivates them. However, for the totalizator owner, the probability mathematics is the same. In both cases, the payment is taken in the first place, and then the very guarantor may go bankrupt. Insurance is viable if one risks losing more than one can buy one more time. Obligatory and unreasonable insurance leads to customer stocks reduction and increases their dependence on the insurer. In other words, risk insurance is effective if you know where to draw the line. Excessive regulation is also part of excessive insurance. On the one hand, the consumer society is heavily criticized and on the other hand, consumer rights are protected more than ever before. Rights for consumers, responsibility for creators. Making the activity rules more complicated is an example of positive feedback in the management system, which strengthens the strong ones. Small competitors will be suppressed by the expenditures for the fuss imposed. Pablo Escobar showed how much one could earn on an artificially limited medication market.